ADHD the yeah. pedal. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that works. Hello everyone, and we're back at 42 Gear Street again, and I'm here with this guy who you've seen in a few videos already, Hi. Mr. Chris Jupiter from Jupiter Effects. Hi. How are you doing, Chris? You enjoying the show so far? Yes, great. So today, we're actually going to do something we've been meaning to do for a while, which is talk about all of these lovely things in front of us, which are all of the fantastic devices that Chris makes. So Chris is going to talk us through this pedal board, which, yeah, this is Pretty much everything in your range, isn't it, I believe? I don't think there's anything missing from this. Yeah, the amp, but... The amp, yeah, of course. It doesn't fit on the board. <laughs> but if it could. It could. So, where do you want to start, really? Because we've got... What have we got here? We've got 10 pedals to get through. So, where should we start in terms of tone? On the back of the chain. Okay. And then start to our new one, the Mayunis. Okay, cool. Okay. So, yeah, what we'll do then is just tell us what each of the, the pedals does and give a little overview yeah. and then we'll play some tones. Yeah, this is the kaleidoscope. That's a reverb with compression and distortion after the reverb tail. This is our fanway. It's a dual delay. Mm -hmm. do, do you have a fanway? I don't know. This I've not even tried this one before. So how does this work then? Because I've seen, I've seen Henning complain that none, nothing's labeled on this thing. Yeah, because <laughs> he's he doesn't read manuals. Mm. He doesn't read manuals. So you have two delays stacked into each other, and you can mix between A B delay times. Okay. So when you can. Please um, play some Stataco stuff, like that, that. And now this. It's longer. I'm gonna make this short now. Okay. Yeah. And then you have a second delay after it. Okay. Now starting, that's why Henning doesn't like it. <laughs> that's, that's a delay that is very cool uh, in front of dirty amps. Right, so it can get honest. quite weird then. And yeah, it's it's. You can do like the tapey Van Halen thing very mm. good with it. Okay. Um, what does it do on the more extreme side then? Because obviously I know like one thing I know about your pedals is they do the subtle thing, but also there's some quite extreme settings we can... The family is not that extreme, to be honest. But speaking of extreme, we have here the super weirdo. Play, play a high note for me. ADHD, the yeah. pedal. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah. So, interestingly, you mentioned the Firmvay sounds great into a dirty amp. Yeah. Now, we are actually playing into a clean amp, which is just out of shot there, but it's the Blackstar St. James 6R6, which is a great kind of clean pedal platform. Yeah. It does work quite nice for that kind of ambient thing in the front of that as well. Yeah, I design pedals for work with dirtier amps. Yeah. And not just like clean, 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 mm. because there are other companies doing that very good. Yeah, makes sense. And it's it's 
my customers are, are more people that like turning the amps so loud it, it doesn't work clean anymore. Yes. And I design pedals to work in that stage. You know? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So speaking of, <laughs> the next bunch of pedals <laughs> are all drive pedals. Yes. Can we um, um, turn the gain from the amp a bit up? So like a crunch? Yeah. Just a bit. Because then I can use the Katastrophe as it should be used. Okay. Okay, go. Nope. I have no sound. I did something wrong. Apparently only the clean channel works. Okay, just um, turn the gain a bit up. Just a bit. Uh, there is no gain on the clean channel, it's just volume. So okay. The then we go. <laughs> okay, so let's make it happen. Oh, That's a pedal I'm already quite familiar with because I've already done a video on that one. Yeah. Uh, that's sort of like a Marshall in a box kind of vibe, isn't it? But obviously with an octave yeah. up. It's also a preamp, so you can um, just plug it in your rental amp on the gig yeah. when you don't want to bring your 40 kilos, 250 <laughs> watt <laughs> yeah. full amp with you. It's a good idea. So I designed the Katastrophe. Yeah. Um, it's a really versatile pedal because it takes yes. a lot of different guitars very well too. Like I obviously spent a lot of time playing that with single coils it's, and now obviously I'm playing yeah. this lovely Jupiter of all guitars by Valiant Guitars, which is a humbucker loaded guitar and it works just as well with humbuckers. Um, uh, it started with a JCM 800 pedal. Right, okay. And then I just tweaked and tweaked and tweaked. Just to your own sort of taste. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Next take is Wallow. Yeah. I don't know if you... Um, I might have played a Wallow very briefly. Okay. Stack it with oh, a silver okay. machine. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of the silver machine, yeah, the silver machine now and mini. Mm. I love the original silver machine anyway. That's one of my favorite octave up pedals. Yeah, we can get them anymore in the bigger enclosure because um, of the wall situation. <laughs> <laughs> so that actually sounds great stacked with the wallow because I've not yeah. really spent much time with the wallow, and I've never really been that much of a fan of the big muff sound. Yeah, because it's sort of my fuzz thing is more of the '60s and '70s fuzz, yeah. whereas that's obviously more. Your kind of wheelhouse, yeah. which is nineties fuzz. It's yeah, it's the open amp uh, big muff, and also yeah. you can have the classic big muff um, sweepy thing. Okay, and also our filter thingy, which is basically the same, but um, you can only regulate the highs, so mm. you have the mids and the bass still still running. What's your preferred settings with something like the Waller then? Because as someone who doesn't play big muff style surf. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Plenty of game then. 
Yeah. All the gain. Yeah. Okay. It works better with the amp with um, the push volume, so you have the tube scream effect, yeah. but also the saturation and compression of the sustain. Makes sense. Makes sense. So obviously the silver machine we talked briefly about, that's like an octave up fuzz. Yeah. That's kind of that Octavia vibe, but with a... It's more, um, a bit more madness two, going on. It's two um, 40 dB boosters stacked. You okay. know what that means. And after that, the Octavia, but only the um, the octave up circuit. So it's not a fuzz as such. You're getting all the gain from the fact that you're stacking 40 dB boost into another 40 dB yeah. boost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then into <laughs> clipping diodes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, this is our Tesla. So this is this is the, the row of things I've not played any of these things. So these will all be new tones to me now. You didn't play the jive? No, I've never played the jive, no. Okay, let's do it. That's all that's all no, normal overdrive okay. thing, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has a it has a um, clean blend. Okay. <laughs> Dirty amp, <laughs> dirty, you know? Yeah. No, I see no, what you mean now because it's causing the repeats to, yeah, yeah, to slip a little bit. It's like, well. it's like com compressor glue. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. With the Tesla Wolf, is that like super high gain overdrive or is that kind of sitting more in the medium drive sort of realm? For me, it's medium. For someone else, it's like high gain, but it's more like it is not a blues driver, but yeah. some people use the blues driver to have like like a Brit mm. type of distortion yeah. that you basically use in like shoegaze or whatever. So yeah. you have like a bit of transparency, but you also have a lot of compression yeah. and a few noise, shoegaze, whatever guys um, use that as a last pedal and chain okay. to fuck things up live yeah. to just um, when, the, when the song ends. Just get a bit crazy at the end, yeah. That makes but sense. you still have noise and you have still um, the clean. So how much gain is on that then? What would is that up full already or? So it's not super saturated. There's enough there to. That's give without you the clean. The clean itself can also boost the amp. Right. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is also a clean boost. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds clean. <laughs> With 300 dB. No, no, it's a super fast. Um, it has internal um, switches and um, pots for bass use. Okay. 16 dB of bass boost and a volume for the cleans. Nice. And the rest is on, on the pedal itself. Okay. So we have a filter sweep here. And the most super fast is it has like just one or two settings. Mm. And this has a blend. Right. Because the the scoopy uh, mid thing um, sounds super evil. Like can can I play a chord, but you won't hear that. Yeah, mostly live. And this is the other setting. Has more mids, yeah. and then you can play. A chord. So you can play a chord and then work with the band and like mm. turn it and then where you hear the best, you can leave it. Okay, makes you know? sense. Jive yeah. is a 40 dB booster. Just 40? <laughs> Just 40. Just 40. And I show you the best thing here that you only can see in his video. Um, these are the secret settings of the Jive where you put the little markers on the V and the G. That's why they're here on the... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. and then... <laughs> So it's still quite clean, but you just get that little kind of yeah, push over the edge. It's a buffer with a lot more mm. volume. Okay. So now then, this is the new thing. Yes. Would you guess what it is? 
<laughs> <laughs> I know what this is because you've told me. This is a very, very loud boost. Yeah, kind of. It's more an EQ, but with um, four settings for the high shelf mm. register when uh, you're playing. This is humbucker setting? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That oh, doesn't work on this guitar. This with the bass strings, the the. Yeah. You have the the clock and the glassiness there. there. Yeah. Can you do Can you do the Hendrix band? It's the little. And you have here the low cut yeah. that you, of course, can um, use way too extreme. Yeah. When you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You should be here. <laughs> then you have a bass boost. To make it fuller again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's designed um, more as a tool, so you have an mm. always on pedal, the better yeah. buffer, tone sandwich. Okay, yeah, so Stuck in pedal. If you hate your amp, you can um, use yeah. it in the <laughs> FX loop. Yeah. Because it's super effective. It's um, super cool before drive pedals or like semi modern amps that mm. you want to push a bit more. Yeah. It's basically a a travel booster, but with modern features. Okay, that's quite cool. So to wrap up then, let's start stacking some stuff. So give me some combinations that you like, and we'll... Uh... Do you want to play while you do it, or do you want to go in blind? Can I, can I play? If you want, yeah. Do you want to pick? Show me some of your favorite combinations. <laughs> You have to let it go, right? To push it again. <laughs> I send you one for, Do your, it. for your wedding gigs. Perfect. <laughs> that would be perfect. I would. I would love that. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's the first time I've tried a lot of these out as well. So obviously there's a few that I am familiar with, like the Silver Machine, the Catastrophe and the Kaleidoscope, which have been in my kind of hmm. pedal collection for a long time now. But yeah, it's cool to finally check out the rest. So yeah, thank you very much for the guided tour of the pedal board. Sure. Pleasure always. as always. So anyone who wants to check out what Chris does, obviously we've talked a little bit about some of the more extreme settings of these things, but they can do some quite cool subtle sounds yes. as well. But yeah, if you want to find out more about what Chris does, there's some links down below in the description. And thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for 
taking the time to come and talk me through all these things. Don't forget to check out the hashtag 42GS4 because there's going to be loads of other content from me. Chris is going to be involved in loads more and all the other channels and brands as well. So yeah, thank you guys as always. Go check out these things because they're a lot of fun. We'll see you guys okay. soon. Bye.